Hello class. Welcome to your session body language or it is also called as nonverbal communication. The minute I talk about body language, what do you understand by body language? Can any one of you tell me what exactly is body language? Communicating with our body. Okay. Do we use words? No. We, we do don't use words. words. So that is the reason it is called as nonverbal communication. Uh, before the languages came into existence, what is that we were using? A body language, uh, gestures. Gestures we were using before we, the languages came into existence. So body language is nothing new to us. It is that part and parcel of our communication. Communication can be oral or verbal, non-verbal or body language it is called as. We can classify it into verbal communication and non-verbal communication. Can you imagine this world without body language? If there is no body language, how will we behave like all of us sitting over here? How will we behave? Like robots ma'am. We will all be sitting alike, standing alike, talking alike and walking alike. That is what we will all be doing if there is nothing, the word body language is not there in this particular world. Now let's uh, come to certain uh, statistics. If I tell you, you will be surprised that only 10% of communication what we use through words will have impact. The other 40% goes to our voice and tone and the rest of the 50% goes into body language. That makes the 100% of the communication what we are communicating. So it's how you modulate your voice is also very, very, very important part of body language. Suppose if I say, come here, how does that sound? A bit harsh, rude. Okay. The same thing if I say, come here, it's polite. Right. Whereas the other one was more like a order or like a command. Okay. So this is what is the difference between the verbal and the voice modulation what we are doing, the 40% what's, what goes into voice modulation is, this is what I am talking about. But other than that, other than the 50%, 10 and 40% of voice modulation and verbal communication, the other 50% goes to body language. Is body language important? Yes, it is very, very, very important. We can learn quite a bit from our body language. When you are nervous, when you are excited, when you are happy, when you are sad, when you are crying, when you are smiling, everything we can know through our body language. Suppose you are sleeping, let's say. All of a sudden the telephone rings and you pick the telephone up and you say, hello. Then the other end, the person at the other end, he will ask, were you sleeping? He never saw you, but how come he can say that word? How he knows that you were sleeping? It is because of our voice and the body language okay and the same thing like uh, if you're crying and all of a sudden a telephone rings and you pick the phone up and you say and then immediately the person at the other end he'll ask were you crying are you crying okay so immediately they can sense they may not see you but they can definitely sense you and feel you okay so that's what is body language body language is very 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 important in certain crucial situations. If you are nervous, you will be doing your hands like this or you will be rolling your hands, you will be holding your hands together like this tightly or like you will take your dupatta or your sari and you will be twisting like this or you will be meddling with your shirt buttons like this. These are all nothing but your nervous or you are uncomfortable in certain situations. Body language speaks volumes. It is that what exactly is required is observation. You should know how to observe people in and around that particular place so that you can really come to know like what exactly is the body language. Is the body language positive or negative? For example, I observed in my daughter's school when we went for parent teacher meeting, the first rank kids parents and the second rank child's parent, uh, they interacted 
and uh, you should see the second rank's mother uh, talking to the first rank uh, kid's mother. She said, oh, is it? Your daughter again got first rank, is it? You know, there is lot of body language going in there. The words are appreciating, but the body language is trying to say something else. She is trying to criticize the kid. So, if you are really observant, you can understand what the person is talking about. So, we are going to see around seven parts here today. That is, the first part is positive gestures. Second part is signs of nervousness. Third part, part is gestures showing aggressiveness. Fourth part is gestures showing rudeness. Fifth part, gestures showing self-importance. Sixth part, gestures showing lack of good sense. Seventh part, gestures showing superiority of position. One by one we will see what exactly are those and how positive gestures can help you to become a good person or a personality and how these negative gestures will show the arrogance of a particular person. So, let us start with number 1, positive gestures. Let us say that you are in a typical situation, let us say an interviewing situation. In such situations, leaning little forward shows that you are showing interest. That is a very positive gesture. Tilted head, this is a thing which we normally practice without our knowledge we do it when we are listening to someone or when there is some class going on or something of interest going on you can see that we tilt our head a little to this angle we tilt our head and we will be nodding our head like this the tilt is automatic that we do not uh, consciously do it but we automatically our head will tilt to one side and will be nodding. That is also a very positive gesture showing that you are really interested in what is happening. Then comes the eye contact. What can I say about this? If there is no eye contact, then you are treated as someone who is trying to hide something or you are not dare enough to face that particular person. Eye contact is very, very, very important. Like now, I am looking at you and I am speaking. I am having a perfect eye contact with you all. Otherwise, you will all feel ignored if I am not looking at you. You will be wondering why we are sitting here. Eye contact is the most important positive gesture we can talk about. Then, gently nodding our head when we are into a situation when someone is speaking to you or when you are listening to someone, gently nodding your head is also a very, very positive gesture. Then keeping your hands open, not like this, you know, keeping your hands open all the time and then you have to supplement your hands for your whatever you are trying to say. Like if I am trying to talk about body language, I am using my whole body, it is not just the head or the hands, like I am using my whole body to express my body language. The same way, you should always keep your hands open, you should not hold like this, make a fist or something of that sort. You should have open palms that shows that it is a very, very, very good gesture and you are open and you are open to any suggestion. Then comes walking with head upright. When you are walking, you should walk this level. You should not bend your head like this or you should not throw your head back upright. Walking with your head upright is a very good walking posture and you should practice that particular posture, not slumped posture. But head upright posture is a very, very good posture. Again, if you put a slump, that shows that you are little dejected about something or you are not very happy or you are dejected about something. So, head upright posture is a very good posture. Then, when you are walking, your hands should swing freely to your sides. You should never fold your hands and walk. This is defensive. Okay? You should always let your hands free and your hands should be free towards your side. I should look straight in front. You should not look here and there when you are walking. You should look straight in front and walk. 
step should be well measured you should not walk too fast you should not walk too slow it should be a well measured steps while walking uh, if you are carrying any books or files or something don't carry your books like this you are trying to defend yourself with the book or the paper or the file you are carrying with so you should always carry the book the file or the bag or whatever you are carrying to your side so these are the few positive gestures we can talk about and the most important positive gesture is keep your legs open sitting in a position where the legs are open and you are not crossing your legs or you are not uh, keeping your feet like this you know you are very open and you are in a very relaxed position that is keeping your legs open is a very very good posture Let's come to the second part that is signs of nervousness. What are the signs of nervousness? Hands in pockets. If you put both your hands in pockets, that means that you are very, very nervous. And then covering the mouth with your hand when speaking or while speaking. If you cover your mouth or you frequently touch your mouth like this, you know, and then or you, you speak like this. These are all the actions showing that you are nervous then scratching you know every now and then you scratch your head for something you know because you are really nervous and you keep scratching so don't do that biting nails you know like if you're nervous you tend to bite your nails and eat them away it's not good for your stomach too okay and then glancing sideways when you're nervous you'll always try to look sideways you're really worried like what's happening towards the left and right but you're never looking straight so don't do that and then drumming fingers mm, yes yes you know that drumming fingers is also a nervous and that shows that you are really impatient that, that gives the indication that the other person should wind up whatever he is saying or you are not really interested you are drumming your fingers so that he can really wind up the session very fast so don't do that and uh, clearing your throat too often if you are in a crucial situation let's say interviewing situation they ask you a tough answer then you don't know the answer or you need little more time you want to buy time then you'll say <coughs> <coughs> you know you clear your throat so that you gain a little more time or you fake a cough like <coughs> and then you try to buy time so never do that if you need time you honestly tell them that please give me few moments to collect my thoughts they will definitely appreciate that particular answer than faking something okay and then tapping your foot this is tapping your foot it's a normal thing like many of us have that habit of tapping our foot and then uh, wringing hands like you hold something tightly and then you if a pen or something you hold and you keep wringing it like you know and tightly so don't do that that's also a sign of nervousness and then crossing arms or legs is also not a very good posture a slump posture walking with hands in pockets and then putting your uh, a hunch back we call it that's also not a very good posture you should always be upright while walking and then sitting on the edge of the chair you are really nervous and you don't know what's happening you'll try to move and then yes 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 and you'll move and you'll sit at the edge of the chair and that shows that you are really really nervous and you are not very comfortable in your position where you're sitting and how you're sitting or the particular situation you're not very comfortable and then rocking our legs uh, we have the habit of sitting and rocking our legs like this constantly will be rocking our legs our elders keep telling us it is a very very bad thing it's not a very lucky thing that's what our elders always taught us don't point fingers at someone it's a very bad thing these are all the things what our elders taught us so don't rock your legs looking at the ceiling when someone's talking to you you look up and you'll be uh, trying to analyze what they are trying to say don't do that usually the men what they do is if they go with the tie all the time they will straighten the tie whenever they are talking so don't do that or what they do is they take the tip of the tie and they fold it when they are speaking so neither you do this nor do that 
and then uh, setting hair with hands you just run your fingers through your hair don't do that and speaking too fast too slow you should always have the optimum speed don't speak too fast or don't speak too slow these are all the different signs of nervousness now let's come to the loudest gestures of your nervousness there are some gestures which are really loud and which are really visible you know there is no need to uh, do keen observation but it will be really visible what are those adjusting your glasses too often or like blinking a lot when someone's talking you every few seconds you keep blinking and then uh, playing with the chains pens all that these are all the loud gestures of nervousness you make frequently sipping and drinking water playing with paperweight if there is a paperweight you keep meddling with it so don't meddle with it and then uh, smoking if you are nervous you tend to smoke so these are the loud gestures of nervousness try to avoid them in a critical situation then comes gestures showing aggressiveness what are these this is staring when someone's talking to you you stare at that person he will be moving in his chair like what's happening he'll be looking here and there why you're staring at him like that maintaining eye contact but not staring so don't stare at anyone I'm pointing at someone when you're talking don't point at someone you you it's not good if you want to really point at someone then you can see you you use all the fingers this will look more polite and then uh, comes showing a fist when you are talking you say you know this shows as if i'm going to come and hit you okay you are very aggressive don't show your fist and then folding both arms you are not very happy with what they are talking or something of that sort so don't fold your hands and stand in front of them and uh, you know when someone saying something you bend over them like you go too close to them and they are not very comfortable they they'll keep going back and you keep going forward so you are trying to be aggressive don't these are the uh, few uh, gestures showing aggressiveness now let's go to rudeness your behavior becomes rude if you act in any of the following ways let's see what are the ways like you are giving a, a shake hand with an iron man bone crusher grip we call it you know you break their knuckles while shaking their hands don't do that give a limp hand shake as if like you're scared to give there is some current passing through the body you just give a fingertip hand shake neither you do that no you do that your hand shake should be professionally executed your hand should go right into their hand and you should shake their hand with a firm grip not an iron man bone crusher grip a firm grip and drop the hand drop them the sense don't drop it like that leave the hand after three shakes okay don't stand too close to a person because this is what is called as a personal space is required they will not feel very comfortable if you stand too close don't ever whisper in a social gathering they will think uh, if someone's looking at you they will think that you are, you both are whispering about me and if she is looking at those two people she will think that you are whispering about her whispering in a social gathering is a very very bad etiquette never never do that work while someone talks to you someone's talking to you and you keep working as if the person is not at all existing there like uh, he is talking to the four walls like never do that you concentrate on what he is saying yawn when someone's talking you you yawn that fellow will feel oh god what am i saying he is feeling sleepy look at your watch frequently during the conversation don't look keep okay mm, yes okay and then that fellow will definitely understand that you are not interested in what he is saying he should end as soon as possible so don't do that and then uh, don't set your hair when someone's talking to you and start gathering and folding papers before the meeting is over just wait for the meeting to get over before the meeting is over still that person is talking and you gather all the papers you collect the papers and you are ready to go giving a signal that okay end it fast enough is enough you know that sort of a gestures show rudeness 
So don't do all these things in public that will show that you are not a very good personality or your behavior is not good or your etiquette is not good. Then gesture showing self-importance. You are trying to show that you are more important than anyone else. When someone's talking, you close your eyes and you do the listening. As if you are concentrating and you are you're doing something more important. And then uh, when head bent backwards while talking. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That shows that you are very, very, you know, arrogant and you prove that you are more important than anyone else. Looking at the tip of the nose while talking. And uh, pursed mouth. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know, you close your lips tight and then you do the talking. Steeping fingers. Steeping fingers means going up and down, using too much of something. So use your hands but not the fingers alone. And then uh, waving glasses or key ring while talking. When you are talking, some people they have the habit of uh, taking a key ring and then doing like this. Or they take the glasses, they will hold that thing and they will keep rotating it and they will be talking. These are the things you should avoid. Then let's go to gestures showing lack of good sense. Banging the table instead of laughing at a joke. When someone cracks a joke, you just bang the table. You know, that's a very, very bad thing. You should not do. You just smile or laugh, but don't bang the tables and break them. Then keeping the pen in your mouth and then chewing it. Okay? Don't do that. That's very bad. And then air coating. Uh, when you want to say T, you will say T. Okay? If you want to say zero, this is what is called as air coating. So don't do that air coating. Okay? And then waving hand around while talking. You know? You just do like this. Don't throw your hands beyond. It should be within your control. If you are throwing beyond, it looks more aggressive. So don't throw beyond. It should be within your control. Opening or closing buttons or setting your watch strap as you talk. Wiping hand across face like this. Touching nose time and again. And if you are doing like this, it shows that you are very rude and it's very aggressive gesture. Then gesture showing superiority of position. Someone's greeting you, you don't even care for that, you don't even respond and you walk away. That shows that you are trying to be superior. And staring, shouting orders in public. Don't shout orders in public. That can never prove that you are superior. That will prove your lack of common sense. Standing too close or leaning or sitting on someone's desk, desk shoulder as he or she keeps writing or working. Don't peep into what the other person is doing. Smoking in someone's space. Uh, you are in someone's space or in someone's cabin. Smoking is usually not a very good etiquette. If that fellow says okay and he gives permission, it's fine. But otherwise, it's not a good gesture. Attending meetings with your cell phones on. And every now and then your cell phone rings and then uh, you keep talking as if you are the only person who gets the call. Uh, any unwanted or un warranted touch. You know, you should not uh, touch a person and speak until and unless you are too close. That's why we call it as a private space, public space. So, you should know how to maintain the distance. If you are not very close to the person, you should maintain the distance and speak not touching the person and speaking not anyone and everyone will like it. Continuing to work as others speak to you. Never do that. Crushing hands, shake or keeping the hand held too long under your hand. You don't want to leave the person's hand like uh, a lady is shaking hand and you know you keep shaking it, shaking it, shaking it, not leaving the hand until she tries to pull it away. And uh, reclining in the chair with your hands folded behind your head, sitting in this particular position, you know, keeping your hands behind your head and then sitting when someone speaking to you. That's a very, very rude and arrogant thing to do in public. So these are the things you should avoid in public. Try to practice good positive gestures. It will definitely help you in a 
crucial and a critical situation but please avoid negative uh, gestures which will like uh, one more uh, example I'll give you when we go to uh, restaurants there if we want to call the waiter we will say that's a very bad thing you know that shows that you are too superior and he is too inferior you can always uh, look at him and when the eye contact is there, you can always nod your head, he will definitely come to you. That is more polite than calling him with a click or like this or with a clap. So, you have to avoid certain things, it will definitely help you improve your personality. Any organization or any uh, company, it's like a family or it's like a body. Even one organ is missing, then you will know what it is like if a hand is missing then you'll know the importance of hand if eye is missing you'll know the importance of eye so it's like everyone and every person is important no one is less or no one is more we are all important and we are all doing different 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 jobs in this particular world every job is equally important so please po practice positive gestures and develop a good personality in life and avoid negative gestures and showing superiority superiority doesn't come with position it comes with humbleness you become superior if you are really humble towards people they will definitely treat you above a level above so it should come from that side not from this side thank you